John Casey with Sailing Anarchy here with Mark Ivey. Mark, just uh, first time on the boat actually doing tactics. Yeah. And today uh, it was a little tough out there. Tell us what you were trying to accomplish there to get in the first place. Yeah, well, I think uh, it was pretty pin end favored almost all day long. So that meant only one or two boats could get away at the pin. And the rest of the time you had to decide whether to you know, start up further on the line on starboard and try and hold off. Uh, the few times we snuck down there, we actually did a really nice job, Ian and uh, uh, Walshy, our trimmer, main trimmer, and I just had really good chemistry there, and uh, we did pretty well off the pin end. Uh, you got all the way out and you hit the exclusion zone, and so you kind of had the ability to, uh, you know, call for room to tack and go over the boats to windward. So that last race was, you know, a great spot. We were winning at the top mark. Uh, we had a small override issue on the, on the hoist. Uh, and then we came into the lured marks. We were still in second with Luna Rosa, held them second all the way around. But the second to last, uh, or entering into the gate, we just had a very late furl, and the kite got all bound up. And uh, that was a tough one because when we went to hoist on the final downwind, she was all, all over the place, kind of like a saggy balloon. So uh, that wasn't very much fun. We were really feeling for you. You know, you're our hometown boy, you know, coming in. In first place, we were so excited. Yeah. And, uh, Oh no, oh not again, no, not two again. times, oh. Seems like every time we get real close to the front there, there's just one or two things that just don't pop our way. And two more days of racing, and so hopefully we can uh, pull that off. Well, obviously it's looking like you guys are getting better and better as you're progressing. Yeah. Um, you had also a little breakage? Uh, we've had several breakage. I mean, the format is so difficult with the containers coming at the last minute. Uh, you don't get to do work in between regattas, so it's kind of all last uh, second. And yeah, we had another issue today uh, with some parts that we had fixed yesterday. They actually didn't stay secured and we lost one or two bolts. And, uh, and so we were pretty nervous actually before the second to last race and we almost pulled out. We were backing and we only started about 15 seconds after everyone. So we sailed around and we got a last place. and. That's the way it goes. Uh, tough format. <laughs> oh, tough format. But you guys keep improving, yep. and I know we're going to see you up more, more towards the front. Yep. Um, 2009 U.S. Sailing Coach of the Year. Yep. If appreciate someone it. needs coaching, <laughs> this is the guy uh, to call right here. Yeah, appreciate it. Now this is a great. It's great to have it here in Boston. Great. These boats are just fantastic, and they're you know sailing against the best guys in the world. You can't ask for much more than that. So, thanks Absolutely. a lot. Absolutely. Uh, good luck. Right. Thanks. It.